Day in my life, traveling edition to historical places in Kediri. Hi everyone, my name is Ilzar Bella Alia Zahra. You can call me Bella. Today, I want to show you the historical places in Kediri. Let's go! Our first place is the Erlanga Museum. It is located on the slopes of Mount Klotok, near a secret cave known as Silamangklin Cave. It's right there. Let's come inside the museum. The entrance fee to this museum is divided two categories. Children visitors are 500 rupiah, and adults are 1000 rupiah. It's very affordable, isn't it? The findings of special archaeological objects in the Kediri city area include such a statue, collection of clay, relief fragments of limestone found in Lirboyal village. This museum stores many historical relics in the from 147 archaeological and ethnographic collection. This is the large statue in this museum, the statue of Lord Wisnu. Has anyone been here yet? For those who like royal history like me, you must come here. Let's go to the next destination. And now we're in Sri Aji Joyopoyo Meditation Place. Let's come inside. Petilasan Sri Haji Joyopoyo is a sacred place for the king. In this case, this was a place of Kediri King Joyopoyo. Joyopoyo was also known in Javanese secret book Chongko Joyopoyo, which contains prediction about future events that will come. In this sacred area, you can see some relics such as Sendang Tirta Komandan. Sending Tirta Kamandano is legendary water source that can cure disease and makes you stay young. Are you curious about the next destination? Follow me. And now this is the last historical places in Kadiri. Now I present you Kadiri Red Church. So guys, this is Kadiri Red Church. The Protestant Church Emmanuel on KDP Slamet Street number 43 Kediri. Look at the beauty of this church. Beautiful, right? Nicknamed the Red Church, this building is a relic of the Dutch East Indies government which stores the ancient Bible in 1867. At first, the church was built on December 21st, 1904, was white. But in 1969, the colors were changed to red and maintained until now. The church building built by J. A. Bruce. He is a priest from Netherlands and this is the name of the architect. Kediri is a very beautiful historical place and I am proud to be a citizen of Kediri. Which place do you like? Comment down below. Thank you. Bye-bye.